Hello sir, Navy Leo from C Sam6. Today I am here to present you about my WCF project that is WCF chat application. So as the name suggests, the chat application is a multi-user chat application with support of uh, two modes that is broadcast mode and one-to-one -one chat mode. So the broadcast mode is uh, the users in a network can broadcast their messages among themselves. It uses TCP dual binding protocol and it has been implemented using WCF duplex service where users send their message to the server and server in turn forwards their messages to all the users in a network using client callback. So the same concept has been also used in implementation of one-to-one -one chat mode. Uh, moving forward with my implementation details. So the project solution contains three projects. The one is chat service library. So that is the WCF service library. The library contains three major services. One is user service, second is broadcast service, and third is one-to-one -one chat service. The user service deals with user CRUD service operations, Broadcast service deals with the broadcast message service operations and same way the one-to-one -one chat service deals with the one-to-one -one chat message service operations. The next project in this solution is chat service host. That is the console based host application to host my WCF service. Okay, and next is Windows client that is multi-screen Windows forms type client application. And few extra points about my project is I tried to make uh, the code maintainable. It has the smooth desktop UI and I tried to uh, follow the best code commanding practices as well. Okay, so let's go to the VS code then. Okay, so moving forward with our solution details. So as I mentioned earlier, the solution contains three major projects that is chat service library, chat service host and Windows client. So chat service library is a type of WCF service library. It has all of these interfaces of different services and their respective uh, implementation classes. Along with that, I am also using some of the fault contracts and models to deal with my database. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm using this type of uh, code commenting approach to make my code more readable. And this type of services, here is the duplex service, and all the codes are very well structured. Next is chat service host. So that is the console based uh, host of our chat service library. And the last is Windows client. So it also has different Windows forms uh, to support multi screens. And last but not the least, here is our database uh, of the application that is WCF Chat FDB. And these are the tables. Okay, so let's just go ahead and run our application. So, as you can see, I have set up this multiple startup project configuration. So, what it does is it simply creates different instances of each of these projects and with proper initialization. So I won't have to create individual instances by myself. I can simply click on the start button and it will create the instance of each of these projects and I will be able to use them. So as you can see here, our service is now up and running. Now let's just go ahead and create new account. Uh, fill out our details first. I can also uh, just view and hide my password characters. And whichever email I have entered here, I will be getting the greeting email of welcome email, uh, the kind of welcome email from the application on this email, provided email. As you can see, I haven't received any email yet. Okay, 
So let's just go ahead and click on submit. Great. So it says the user has successfully registered. And as you can see behind, I have also received an email from the WCF chat app zero minutes ago and it says welcome to WCF chat app and so and so. Nice. Now let's just go back to login and try to log in with the incorrect credentials of the newly created user. So as I previously saw, uh, show that uh, the username is Neville11 and the password is Neville. The real password is Neville but I will now enter ABC and try to hit the login button. So it says, please enter correct username and password. So the incorrect authentication has been handled. Now let's just enter the correct credentials and hide my password. Click on login. So it says successfully logged in. By pressing this OK button, I will be redirected to the home page of our application. So this is the kind of uh, dashboard of the application. As I previously mentioned, it suppose, supports two types of mode, that is one-to-one -one chat mode and the broadcast mode. So I can choose any of these modes. Let's just choose first the broadcast mode. So for broadcast mode, the screen will be something like this. It says user navel has logged in. So this is the message from the server that we are getting. The admin has sent us the message that user navel 11 has logged into the server. Great. Now let's just create the multiple uh, instances of our Windows client to demonstrate the real time update of chat messages between multiple users. Okay, let's just create one more client. Okay, so now I'll be logging with the previously created users. Login, logged in, and broadcast message. Yeah, so it says uh, user users has logged in. Login to another account, Ashis, Ashis. Great, successfully logged in. Now moving to the broadcast message and as you can see here I have opened three windows that is three different clients running on the same or different machines and it will uh, talk in the broadcast mode so all of these three windows has the same message that is they have logged in into the server let's just try to enter any of the message from any window so Someone says, hey, so as soon as I press the sign button, it sends the message to server and server sends uh, messages to all of these online users. As you can see on each of these screens, that is on each of these different user machine, I got the message from the server saying, hey, so first I enter from this message, uh, this window, now enter on from this window that is from different users. So someone says hello. So as you can see, Navel11 says hello. Ashit say hey. And this one says hola. So user says hola. Great. So this way user can chat in the broadcast mode. So now let's go back to the dashboard go back to dashboard again go back to dashboard in this window as well okay so now we will be demonstrating the one-to-one -one chat mode so i am here inside one-to-one -one chat mode again in this one-to-one -one chat mode so the interesting part is online users as soon as i press online uh, as soon as i press the one-to-one -one chat mode button from the another uh, window the online users got updated that 
label 11 got that the user is online and as soon as apprentice uh, print, uh, press this button it says navel 11 and user is online so in each of these windows i am getting the updates on real time uh, as you can see the no message record and uh, it says please select and use a name so i basically have to select any of the user i now as soon as i press it says messages with user and from here i'll have to select uh, the message with user okay great now let's just enter message hello click on send so i got this message saying hello now reply from here hi Neville. so it says hi Neville. so all of these values gets updated in real time and as soon as i click on any other different user see since the message history has no uh, real uh, the no past messages it says no message records is user asish and as soon as i click on navel manual it fetches the previous records of messages great the same works on this window as well and it will work on this window as well okay so now let's just go ahead and click on to this go back to dashboard page so now uh, here is our profile account so as soon as i click on this profile account it has opened this dialog so now i won't be able to interrupt this behind window unless i have closed this window until i do not close this window so i'll i what i can perform on this window is um, i can update my profile and i can delete my account as well so let's just update our profile uh, so let's try to update the name to name update and the username we cannot change since it's unique and we can also change the password from navel to navel update click on update profile so yeah we got the user updated successfully and if i go to back my vs code and open this sql server click on view data so yeah i got this navel pamar update in the name column and got this navel update in this password flow. so yeah it got updated in the backend as well and now as soon as i press this delete account button it will delete my account and all of these message histories with different users and i will be redirected to the login page again since the user is uh, does not exist I cannot be uh, logged into the same account so now let's just go ahead and click on this delete my account so yeah the user has been deleted successfully and as soon as i press on this ok button it will redirect me to the login page again since the user does not exist we cannot be logged in into the system anymore okay so the next feature is when the user already exists with the same details that is same username and same email and when someone tries to sign up using those same details we will get the error of user does exist so as you can see here we have the user and name user at gmail.com user present in our system so let's just try to enter the same exact details uh, username user and password is user again okay. let's just click on submit and we got that the user already exists so all of these kinds of error has been successfully handled and that's it about my project sir so thank you so much for listening to me 
and I will be adding all of these implementation details in the GitHub repository. Since I cannot make the video much longer, I will be adding those details inside my GitHub repo. So, thank you.